Hello, Les from Thailand here. And today's video is going to be about why relationships fail here in Thailand. Today I'm sat in Koh Chang doing this video and I'm on holiday with my wife. And yes, we, we're living the dream. And that's what most people want, to live the dream in a tropical island, having a beautiful lifestyle. But why does so many relationships here in Thailand go wrong? So I'm going to give you some examples as to why they go wrong. I've talked to many people over the nine years good relationships and bad relationships and basically the, the ones that fail fall into the same categories and I'm going to go through them categories there's four different reasons or main reasons why relationships fail here in Thailand so I'm going to put some photographs up here of, of the, the tropical paradise that you can live in here and it's the the dream that people are after I live a fantastic life here and sadly for those people who, who want to live this life but it fails okay we'll start off with reason number four and work our way up to the most common reason why relationships fail here in thailand and four is people don't live here they form a relationship with somebody they come to a beautiful island like this and they're living the dream and it's fantastic and this is what they want to do for the rest of their lives live in a, a tropical paradise beautiful warm seas be with a nice girlfriend beautiful young attractive and it's a fantastic dream to live but for some people who can't actually afford to retire yet so they're still after work for a number of years before they can actually come and retire here in thailand this is the fourth reason why it doesn't work they get into a relationship they tell the girl that they'll support them from their home country and send them money every month and again the girl gets bored whilst they're over here because maybe they can't see the the new boyfriend for months on end and they're always looking for a relationship to be full time. So therefore, that's the fourth reason why relationships fail over here. If you're in a long distance relationship, the chances of it succeeding are very, very low. And we'll go to reason number three. Reason number three is basically the people who live here, they have the girlfriend, they have the house, they have a, a good social life, and they go out with the friends and then after maybe a year or two or even three years or so into the relationship things settle down and it's not that same spark as it was when you first met so they go drinking around the bars and various places and there's always ladies available no matter where you are in thailand and if something catches your eye that's the start of the relationship going downhill with the one that you've already got because they don't care whether you're married, single or whatever. All they want is their little bit of money that they'll get from taking you home. So if you take them back to the, your room, well, they're happy because they've got their money. So a new relationship can start off by a casual affair with somebody else. And then yes, they are better than the wife that you've got at home or the girlfriend you've got at home, laughing, joking, whereas your relationship might have gone a little bit stale over here but you've got to make your relationship work over here also the chemistry has to be there and the attraction has to be there so that's usually the the third reason why some relationships fail here in thailand and the second reason is money money's got a lot to do with it the thai girlfriend that you're with or your wife sometimes they'll keep asking for more and more and more money something's happened the buffalo's got sick or the, the father is sick or the mother is sick and it's forever putting your hand in your pocket to help the family because once you marry your thai girl over here or you're with a thai girl you're with their family also and you're expected to pay because you're wealthy for lang or that's how all thailand people view for langs as being wealthy so therefore relationships can fail because people keep asking for more money for more 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 all the time so play it straight right from the beginning that you are not a cash cow and you will support them and help their family in little ways but you're not going to be putting your hand in your pocket all the time and i've got to say the number one reason for relationships failing here is alcohol 
alcohol is a mean beast over here. If you've got a drink problem back in your own country, you're certainly going to have a drink problem over here. It's sort of the culture, everybody goes out drinking, everybody like wants a party time, so therefore you can end up drinking more than you should do. I've got a friend who's on 12 bottles of Big Leo every day, 20,000 beer bill he's got, and that's just the beer he buys at home. So that's sort of destroying the relationship when all said and done, because alcohol rules his life. And let's face it, who wants to be married or with a drunk all the time? Nobody wants to be that in your own country, so why should they accept that over in this country? And sadly, relationships fall apart because of alcoholism. People drink too much, they can change their behaviour by drinking too much. All sorts of things are attributed to alcohol. People drink and drive over here because they can get away with it probably easier than they can do it back in their own country. So alcohol can cause all sorts of problems. So alcohol is the number one reason for relationship failure here in Thailand. So I hope you found this interesting. It was only a short little video. So to have a successful relationship here in Thailand, just be a normal person. Don't drink too much. Treat the people with respect. Set your stall out very early as to what you'll pay and what you won't pay. And you've got to have that chemistry. If the chemistry's there, then it'll work anyway. But if the chemistry isn't there and you don't live here, and you're working away and you're sending money doomed to failure. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.